All right, uh, this is going to be kind of a long video. Um, I went to Oakland Town Line today, and I found some good stuff. Uh, but I'm going to say, I didn't get anything insanely valuable. I, maybe the most valuable thing I got today was worth 75 unless I got something toys-wise that I don't know about. Um, 185 is what I spent on all the stuff that you see here. And uh, if, you, if I sell a few things, I know I can get my money back. Things ranged in price from expensive to not expensive. I bought everything that was not expensive. Um, that mostly wasn't very special. Uh, but again, $185 is what I spent. So I guess let me just start. You know, I'm not going to take forever. Um, I'll start with games, CDs, and records, and then work my way to uh, the wrestling shirts, because I know AJ is like that. And then it's going to be a lot of toys and then decorative stuff at the end. All right. Uh, I bought this, the eye, for 50 cents because I wanted these. And that was on top of that. This is These are signed by, it says, thanks, Brian. And then it has someone's name that I can't make out. Thanks, Brian. And then here it also says, uh, hang on. Uh, it's funny, I thought it, when I first read it, I thought it was thanks, bitch. That's not thanks, Brian. And then it's got the same person's name here. This is a little rubbed off. I have to be careful with that. In terms of games, um, I got the manual for Mario Kart Wii for free. Uh, I got, I'm not sure this game, Klonoa. I'm sure it doesn't have much value. And I got this uh, Need for Speed Pro Speed. These are all a dollar. So this is probably the most valuable game, Kirby. I got Wii Sports. Uh, the funny thing is, is it two disc or one? Maybe it's a manual and a disc, but I got the disc. And the case, and then I got uh, a Namco Museum Remix. I think uh, I paid like five bucks, and I, I guess I got about 30, 40, maybe 40 dollars worth of game. Okay, then I bought all right. I'm not sure where I was, so I'm just gonna pick it up by saying all that stuff all the way over there, all the stuff over here, everything that you see. I only paid 185 bucks for it, it was a great deal, and uh, I'll go through the games again. Namco Museum, Wii Sports, I paid a buck a piece, Kirby's Dreamland, probably the most valuable of the games, Pro Street, Klonoa, Mario Kart Manual, then I bought these two things, video games, the movie, and the reason I bought them was because they were signed, I don't know who the signature is, but both of them are signed, uh, this one says thanks Brian, it has the name, it has the name, and I bought the eye with it, so, uh, so it would cover it up, but also while I was there, I could have bought a Heineken sign, but I didn't see it, and this guy's like, uh, was going door to door selling stuff. He's like, hey, I want to buy that, right? And they were like, okay, you can buy it. The Heineken sign, it was like five bucks. And if he didn't buy it, I would have bought it. The guy's like, yeah, just hold on me. I'll be back, be back around five o'clock. And I was like, seriously, five o'clock? We're not going to be here at five. So I was like, tell the guy just to pay for it and come pick it up. You know, it's like, come on. So the guy's like, okay, I'll pay for it. And then we were joking, like, he was a terrible salesman because he went to their door to sell him something. And then uh, he wound up uh, buying something. Anyway, I bought this shirt. Uh, it's Ramapo High School Raider Marching Band. Fanta I don't even know why I bought it. It was a dollar. I, you know, I saw all the Disney and stuff on it. So, whatever. I probably made a mistake there. <sighs> these were a quarter a piece. So I got Fuji. This is just 8-track. I'm going to put these probably in the store or take them to the flea market. And I'll sell them for like $4 or 3 for 10 something like that. A quarter piece. Then I bought some CDs, mostly for the store. I need CDs for You got this for free. I want to sell, and it's a bunch of Wizard of Odd postcards. Maybe I can stick that in the showcase uh, at the Antique Mall. Stuff, stuff is either going showcase, flea market, uh, Antique Mall, and probably not much is for eBay that you see today. So anyway, here's the CDs. CDs. Go-Go's, Paul Simon, Garfunkel, uh, Depeche Mode, Prince, Billy Idol, uh, Neil Diamond, uh, Prince again, Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah, it's, 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 I can't even stack stuff today. I'm tired. We went to probably about 50 or so sales. Thank you. Ozzy. Smashing Pumpkins. Quiet Riot, Riot Greatest Hits. Encore by Eminem. Again, Smashing Pumpkins. Ozzy Osbourne. This over here. Here's the Rolling Stones. Uh, 40 Licks. This is like a best of. Another. I don't know why I kept getting the Siamese Dreams, but I like Smashing Pumpkins. I don't care if it sells quick or slow or whatever. Um, Bob Dylan's Greatest Hints, uh, Simon Garfunkel, Nirvana, Bob Seger, another Smashing Pumpkins. All right. Um, these records I bought, even though they were only a dollar a piece, but th they had been water damaged. So I picked out the ones that had the least amount of water damaged, uh, damage, 
And I'll try and sell them for, I don't know, depending on how bad they are, four and up. And this one has a big freaking piece of masking tape on it. But this is, of course, the Who. The kids are all right. And you might be able to see. This one wasn't too bad. I picked out the ones that just weren't too bad or the ones I thought I could sell. Uh, the cars. I don't know. A lot of people don't talk about the cars. I like the cars. And this car has the Vargas cover right there. Uh, Ario Speedwagon. I like the covers. And it wasn't in bad shape. So for a dollar. Who? Who's next? And then I kind of bought this one. Even though the cover, the record's iffy. And the cover has some water problems. But I kind of thought Steve might want to play this one in the store while he's working. And then the kinks. Give the people what they want. Um, got a Teddy Ruxpin. It was only $2. Not really sure what the value is. But Teddy Ruxpin was the bear that would talk. So you could probably put in any cassette that you want. And Teddy Ruxpin would probably mouth the words like, Maybe sing songs or whatever. And this does have uh, a cassette in it. It's a set Teddy Ruxpin dual uh, songbook. And the woman did say that it works. So I think that might be an interesting experiment to just get like, a, like say, a rap cassette. Any rap cassette. Put it in and play it and see if Teddy Ruxpin uh, raps along with it. I think that might be interesting, right? Be fun. Maybe some uh, uh, fuck the police. <laughs> uh all right, The Cars, Greatest Hits, Bruce Springsteen, <clears throat> Billy Joel, uh, Meatloaf. The, I'm, this stuff I'm just going to put in the store for now. And I'll, I'll start putting, getting more CDs. I want to thin out the CDs I have from this. And I want to have CDs in the store. And I want to ask about, I think I want to ask four or five like I do at the flea market. I'll, I'll talk to the guys. Uh, we just have to decide. I, since I may be the one selling more CDs than anything else, um... I don't know if I have to put stickers on all mine, you know, so we'll see. Maybe they'll put stickers on theirs to separate them. Okay, this whole box of CDs was five bucks, and there's hardly anything good in here. Maybe maybe Steve will know something that I don't know. Uh, this is stuff, most of it is stuff that I've had that doesn't sell. Um, there's Ozzy, so there was a couple of good ones. Yeah, but when they said five, and I was counting them, like this is Rush. So ones like that, who's this, Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, ones like that I put in the store, Zebra, Damn Yankees, MC Brains, never heard of them, kind of cool, Van Halen, so um, again, for five bucks, they're like a dollar each or five for all, so Queen, The Miracle, uh, Dance, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, let's see how long this is, five minutes so far, okay. Say Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, and let me just show these quick. Uh, Boys to Men, Shane, Stevie B, Young MC, TKA, B-52's Cosmic Thing, Triumph, Traveling Wilburys, uh, Lizette, uh, Vanilla Ice, I'd put that one in the store, Everclear, uh, Triumph, uh, Asylum, Soul Asylum Misery, Club Cuts, The Cheese, Flip Your Head, I have no clue, Warrant, Cinderella, okay, there's some actually good ones, Tom Petty, U2, uh, who's that? Uh, I don't know. Burnt Bad Company. Vanessa. There's actually some decent ones. Hopefully they're in decent shape. Uh, but for five bucks, I saw like a couple I wanted. And I was like, okay, that's it. All right, so that covers that. Let me keep going in this direction for now. Um, for 30 bucks, I got all of these. I'm mostly in good shape. Here's a Suns Adidas. Number 13. Don't like that, the letters. Didn't really look at them. Did a for all price. Number 9. Adidas. Uh, Notre Dame. Here's the Majestic. Usually the Majestic are older ones. There's Majestic. Chicago. No number that I could see quickly. Another, oh, that's the Yankees. Uh, who is this? Chamberlain, number 62. I don't know a lot about sports. Uh, but when you see a price like that, whatever. I keep checking to see that this is still running. Uh, here's another Majestic. Rodriguez, that might be good, 13. Another Adidas. 
Uh, it says Magic. Number 12. I guess that's... Oh, Magic Howard? I'm thinking Magic Johnson. Uh, here's a, a Cubs. Another Majestic. I don't see any numbers or names. I think I got 11 shirts altogether. Who's this? This is New York. Probably the Mets, right? Uh, oh, Derek Jeter. Number two. And let's see who makes this one. Majestic. That might be one of the better ones. You taking her to work? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I guess this is another national. I guess that's Met, uh, Mets. That's another Majestic. Uh, who could fuck a dome? That's me. All right. Here's a... Was it there? LGG. North 50, Carolina, a Jordan, what? Nike Team Sports, number 50. It's very sunny today. Here's a Adidas, Cleveland, 23. Again, I only paid 30 for all these. James, 23. And here's a Chicago, Majestic, Fukudome, number one. What do you think of that cheese slice? You're pretty cool, right? You should bring it into work and say, uh... Anybody need to slice some cheese? Yes! <laughs> you got the joke. Mom's like, that's stupid. Why did you buy that? Look. That is pretty ugly. It's not even She's like, it's ugly. stupid, that it's, clock it's right fugly. there. It's Why'd you buy that? I'm like, ah, it was 15 bucks. She's like, 15 that's bucks? Cool. It is kind of cool, it's right? Stupid in a cool way. That's it's what I said. Fugly. 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 Ugly. Okay. They're, they 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 mock me on my amazing purchases. Hey, check this out. Three dollars for a whole comforter set. I mean, come on, that's insane. Now I don't know what these cost, but I think seventy five hundred something. Like that. You know, I got some, I got all these stuffies for like ten bucks. Got a Bart with the tag. Got this dude, handsome man, uh, with the lion on his chest. Got a Homer with the tag. Uh, I got a couple of Sonics. No, I got three Sonics. I got the whole crew. I'll take the Sonics to the store. I might take the home. I don't know. You know, I really don't know. I bought this because why not? It's a Giants. We're 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 uh by the Meadowlands. This is actually a little bit more worn than I thought it was, but it's a Power Rangers pillow. No no label. I don't know. You know, sometimes I'm dumb. I just buy stuff. Somebody might want it. Another Homer, pretty good shape. Some kind of Transformer knockoff dude. And another robot looking dude. I don't care if I sell these for dollars. Oh, and a Teletubby. Not sure on the value of this. His back zipper, so he might actually say something. Say it again, please. That's nonsensical. Let me try again. Hello. All right. <clears throat> I think these are Animal Planet. I'm not sure the value on Animal Planet, you know, but uh, here, I, I'll just kind of go through it. I got Tiger. Uh, this is obviously a Scooby-Doo, um, but it's kind of jungle stuff. Let me see if I'm still recording. Yep, 11 minutes in. Some dinosaurs, lion, other uh, dinosaurs. If I'm lucky, there's a Jurassic Park in here, but no. So I gotta, I'll check the value on these. I'm sure they're not that much. I'll be happy to sell these things at a flea market for dollars. Let's see what it says. Bengal Tang Tiger made in China. China. But it's a mix of like what looks like animals and dinosaurs. Like here, here's a big T Rex. Somebody told me, I think they said they call these screamers. Let's see who makes this one. Uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex, 1998, The Carnage. Hmm. Well, it doesn't look like he's missing a finger. Then there's some small dinosaurs. I gotta I got divvy this stuff up. Here's some little animals. I think this, yeah, animal plant. Dinosaurs, hippos, another dinosaur, whatever. Smegalus, Morris, Norris. All right, I can't take too much time on that stuff. How long is this video? 12.33. <clears throat> For five bucks, six dollars actually, because I said, can I have the backpack? Because she didn't have a bag. This is when I got all these. These are Disney mostly, except for the trolls. I don't know if these trolls have much value. I don't believe they do. There were three of them. She just kind of threw it in. And this is... 
I don't know what they are, but they're Disney. So they're probably worth something. Okay, I was hoping to do this all in one video so I wouldn't have to process it, but I something my phone keeps turning off. So continuing on, the, these three weird looking troll type characters I got. Then I got these things. They're all like Disney stuff, but that's like Daffy Duck. I don't know. This is Winnie the Pooh, it looks like. No, that's Winnie the Pooh. This is some other character. This, okay, that's a pirate. Um, what does it say on the bottom? It said some, some, T-S-U-M, Disney? I don't know. The, this is from Alice in Wonderland, I'm assuming. Weird duck, Tigger. Piglet, maybe. Mickey Mouse. If anybody's ever seen this, let me know. It's Lion King. Lilo and Stitch. I don't know who that is. I guess that's Dumbo. Oh, Beetlejuice. No, wait. No, no that's the Jack Skellington, maybe? That's one of them guys. It's not Beetlejuice. Kind of a Miss Disney, uh, Disney looking character. It's a moose. Yeah, that's got to be Nightmare for, Before Christmas. Again, I don't know what these things are. But she, I said, well, how much are they? And she's like, five bucks for all. I'm like, just, I, can you put it in a bag? Yeah. Like, maybe I can lot some of these. Or maybe I'll just sell them at the flea market. You know, a couple of bucks each. Don't know. Put them in a shoebox. It's very humid. I'm sweaty. I'm dripping sweat. Probably the next time this cuts off because it's annoying me. Yeah, that's the dog from Nightmare, Nightmare Before, whatever. I know who that is. I can't remember that. And there's Minnie. That's Alice in Wonderland cat. Some more. Snowman, it looks like. Uh, Eeyore. Eeyore. Uh, this. Okay, so that's that's that. Oops, this little one almost got away. All right, so then uh, I don't know. I paid like fifty bucks, and I got this and some other stuff. Let me just see if I can go through this quick. I'm, like dripping sweat over here. Let me get this out of the way. And I got this uh, this backpack. It's uh, I think I already said what it was. I don't care. All right, uh, I got a, just a bunch of wrestlers. They were less than a dollar piece. Then I got some big Thor. Whatever, action figures. Like, this is Guardian of the Galaxy. Um, I almost forget his name. But, like, the wrestlers, I'll just... These are, like, a dollar that I pay. Le actually, less than a dollar. But these are good. It's flea market stuff. You know? There's not any really good ones. There's the, Some of them have the belts. I mean, actually, I don't know if they're good ones. The guy was just willing to part with them. You know? So, if anybody sees any of that, you know... Like... Steve... You, or AJ, let me know. This is going to be a long video. Yeah, this. You know, it saves you the time. If you need me to bring anything in, just tell me. I, I might come by tomorrow to the store, guys. That's kind of the plan. Yeah. And then I get some of it was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. I got a car. I've had them before. Like, this is probably Teenage Mutant Ninja. So I got the wrestlers. The guy was like, you sure don't want the ring? I'm like, no, I don't want the ring. AJ might have taken the ring. He's like, I'm throwing it in. I'm like, I don't want it. Just can't deal with it. So I'm not interested in it. You know, I said, here, take a wrestler and then sell the wrestler with the ring. Uh, then I got some. This is more like, there's the Rhino. So this is like Marvel and DC stuff. Well, stuff on Marvel. Uh, but here's DC, Batman. Green Lantern. This might be the Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern. Everybody thinks he's Deadpool now, but he used to be Green Lantern, if you remember. Batman. Oh, that's... I think that's a little guy. Oh, and I got a Batman on the thing. And that was like $5 for that. And this was like 5 or 10 So, And this is here. Here's another wrestler. But otherwise, this is... This is like Shredder. Uh, Ninja. This is Teenage Mutant, but it's not old Teenage Mutant. It's like the newer stuff. So, this stuff isn't really very valuable, but it's good for flea markets. You know, this looks like a sewer. This might go with a car. There's, I don't know if that's Shredder. Here, a couple more turtles. I'm like dripping sweat on my phone. It's so hot. I'm just 
is some random stuff. I'll just put this all in here and keep this out, keep it together. You know. Alright, alright, that's all. Teenage Mutant. I don't know who that is. Let's put it here. It doesn't look like Teenage Mutant Ninja. But that also came with uh, my knees. <sighs> I'm I'm kneeling on brick. Let's see. Yep, still going. Came with this, so I'll keep this together. All right. Um, this is mostly Hot Wheels and some assorted action figures. I don't know who they are. 1996 Toy Story. But as you can see, mostly like. He should go on probably a motorcycle. Oh, no, here he is. So, oh, and I only paid 50 bucks for all of these, right? This I paid 50 bucks to that guy. And with that, I got this. This is going to be for the store. Stepping on something. Hey. This is definitely, this is a Smurf with a Smurf hat, giving some flowers. Grandpa Smurf kind of hanging out the side, you know. That was five dollars, but the total was fifty, and it was this and that, and that. I don't know if there was something else, but let me just keep going through this. So then, then this was part of a big fifty-dollar buy, which included this, this, that, and that bag over there. They actually, uh, they were like, I was, I was like, oh, how much you want for all the toys? Then when I went to buy the toys, I was like, man, I got a lot of toys. So I said, at first I was like, how about thirty dollars, right? But then I'm looking at them, there's so many toys that. Ew. Uh, there's so many toys. Oh, he probably goes on one of these. Um, that I was like, I didn't want him to back out and be like, oh no, there's too many toys. I can, you know, this can't give you all this for $30. So I said, you know what? There's a lot of toys here. How about I give you 50 bucks? And they were like, oh, thanks. I really appreciate that. And I was like, hey, no problem because, you know, I'm really getting a pretty goddamn awesome deal. After I go through all this, I've got to, uh, I got to, um, bag it but this see this is what i need i've been complaining oh man i'm playing these different flea market only get stuff for ebay or whatever and i gotta do the work i don't have time i gotta put in showcase that so fast stuff like this i take these flea market i go a buck for the first one get me a bunch of cars and or a handful and then the price goes down so i can do that with this stuff you know basically i'm gonna get a bunch of um a bunch of garbage bags and just start putting these in the garbage bag and then sticking them in and, uh, I don't know, in the car or the garage or wherever until I can get them out. All right, so this, that's just a bunch of random. Look at his, his mask is coming off. Very articulated, this one. All right, uh, but this was also part of the deal. That's gross. So, this is more. I think I like a Buzz Lightyear. That's a nice looking one. Big Superman. A little moldy there. Let's see what happens. Hey, 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 macho, macho man. He actually looks like he's doing this kind of weird muscular pose. Uh, another Superman. This looks like uh, late 90s, early 2000. Uh, don't know, don't know. Uh, this, not a clue. This. Oh, I got some big dinosaurs. I don't know what these are worth. I don't think they're cold painted. Let's see if it says anything on it. Um, Dinos Tyrannosaurus something. Reg number. Polyester. Something Toy Major Trading Limited. Don't know. But here's another one. Let's see. Stegosaurus. Pilling. No. 2000, it's not old, so I can take this to the flea market and ask, you know, not a lot, which is good. You know, if I sell that three to five dollars, man, you know how much money I'm gonna make on this crap? Here's another one, it's probably the same company. Here's like a plushy Spider Man. Oh, I think he goes with this, he might go in the car. And then it's just random, like, here's, I don't know, is that like Johnny Five or something? Cars, dinosaurs, here's another Scooby line. This probably goes with Animal Planet. Yeah, I'm still recording. Um, Oh, look at this. That's pretty cool. Regular. It's probably it's probably not in perfect shape. Uh, here's some more animals. 
this big robot dude. I don't even know. Maybe he's made by Bandai. Let's see. Try me. No, you try me. Don't you try me. I'll try you. Yeah, whatever. Oh, and here. This looks like a Big Ben 10. That's pretty cool, right? Not sure of the value of that. There's like a little Nerf. Joke gun. And just some rando things. I'm going to kind of start. That looks like, uh, sorry. And then I got a bunch of these guys. I don't know what they are. But they all came. Yes. Just parts, pieces. I'm going to be a while sorting this stuff. This is kind of harder to... I, I probably fish out this, whatever, like here, Teenage Mutant. Tonka. Maybe that's Ben 10. Here's like a Hulk. It's kind of a nice one. There's like a nice bigger Hulk. Not specially made. 2013, so it's not that old. More cars. They're like half Batmans. I'm gonna get it back for garbage. This looks like more Animal Planet stuff. Tiger, made in China. Uh, nice gorilla. This looks like, uh, it is Mattel, 2066. Here. This guy is from that Hulk movie. The Edward Norton one, I'm almost positive. That's pretty cool. Uh, I got these, these almost look like chess pieces. No clue. Uh, helicopter. Pretty cool looking dude. Yeah, I gotta sort these. That's what I'm gonna be doing. Mike, here's a Florida keychain. Let me get up. I'm way over to this side. That's actually going faster than I thought. But I'm not really showing everything. I just can't. You know? It's like too much. Another turtle. Got these guys. These are obviously some kind of like transforming dudes. No. No. This is kind of big. That's a bigger one. Here's a, some kind of Power Ranger looking dude. Oh, that's a Sandman from. Uh, so that would be Marvel. I'm just. I don't think I'm gonna get like a bunch of bags and just sort and separate this stuff. Pirates of Caribbean. I don't. I think I showed everything of major interest here. What's this? It's a car. All right. And I got like this little batch of toys, and I'll just talk at this stuff. Man, I can't check the time, but it's getting late. And I was I was shopping from two. I didn't get it early, early start. Now obviously this is uh, probably Optimus Prime or something. Is this broke? No, that's the way it's made. Okay. Then I got some of these car characters. Let me see if it says where they're from. The Chevron cars. I don't know. This is some kind of game. Oh! I don't think this is very old. But here you go. AJ. This is part of the $50 deal. They were like, oh, you're going to throw the Parkman cards in too? And I was like, hoping they'd say yes. And they said, they're like, yeah, why not? Just throw them in, you know. So here, there's not a lot here, but, you know, something to go through. There are some, um, I gotta, you know, I know how to check, like, first edition. Man, I'm just, like, sweating. And obviously these aren't first edition, but there are some foil ones. Foil ones I could put in pl hard plastic sleeves and sell them for, like, a buck. And then you go, which ones have the high power? So, like, these will have 10, 20, 30. I don't know what a really high power is. Maybe, like, 80 is pretty high, because 40, 50... 80 there's 90 i don't know what the scale of power is i don't know if it goes like zero to like a million you know like in dragon ball z they go oh he, he's uh he, he's leveled up that like 100 so i actually forget what they used to say but he, like they kept leveling up and then you thought they were at the highest level ever and then um like uh vegeta and, and goku would train some more and then all of a sudden they'd be level you know a million and then you'd be like man they can't be more than level a million but no then they'd be level two million this is a tank dude but he's might be missing some stuff oh so, you know here's another wrestler uh, here's a, i guess that's a troller or whatever 
Here's these cars. Chevron cars. Had a bunch of those. This one's Wash Me. Uh, I guess that's a Power Ranger. I don't know. Look at look at them toenails. You know, my mom would get on me if, you know, or Marie. She'd be like, man, clip your toenails. That's ridiculous. Here's a turtle. Scratching me up. Uh, I don't know who this is. I think he's taking some damage that he wasn't supposed to. It might be a pen, Ben 10 or something. Here's another one of those cars. I don't know if this is like a Disney thing. No, it can't be Disney. It would say Disney. Beats me. Uh, here's a... <laughs> it was balled up. But that's a Bumblebee. Uh, another one. So these are more Transformers, I guess. Riddle Armor. Oh, he's missing a leg. Some of these are parts. Probably going to do something with parts on these at some point. You know, I'll just go... Oh, okay. Somebody's riding this one. Maybe maybe uh, the Goblin rides this guy. I'm not sure. Keep that. Uh, here's just a random car. More of that. This rolly thing. The original. Uh, I don't know what this is. Some cars. And one of those cars. And another big Transformer. Okay, that's pretty much all it toys. <clears throat> all right. Didn't get a lot of decorative today. Uh, I already showed the Smurfs. I got these jars to put some marbles in. I have a lot of marbles. Just cheap ones, you know. This Marie, like, this is, Marie bought almost nothing. I'll show what Marie bought. Marie bought this, duck, and it's a box. You open them up. Probably made in India or something. Wait a minute. Made in Hong Kong, so. I guess that's some age. Here's all the jewelry she got. She got, like, I thought she got, like, four pieces of jewelry. She got this stick pen. It's not gold or anything. She got this necklace. Let's see. Doesn't seem to be made by anybody. Uh, I can't tell right away. She probably bought it for the flea market. And then this is silver. Uh, but it's not super valuable. All right. Oh, and then she got this. I thought, see, I said these are like earrings. And they're crystal and black glass faceted. I got this. Um, this is some kind of assemblage thing. I've, I've seen somebody that did something like this where they put paint on everything. It's probably signed somewhere. I've seen this stuff. I don't know who makes it. You know, but there's a moose there. There's a table. There's a soldier dude. It just like it looks like he takes stuff and puts on. Look, that's a hook, like, to hang it upside down like that. I don't know. There's a, a, some kind of horn there. There's a nail. There's something on the back. It's, it seems to be made out of light carbon. Really, that's a dinosaur. And they just pour paint all over it. Like spatter. There's another army looking dude. They just put it together and, and kind of do like a Jackson Pollock kind of thing. I've seen this stuff, I think. It's a clock. Maybe it was a dumb buy. Is it missing a foot? No. It's got three legs. It's going to be hard to find out if this is signed anywhere. If anybody's ever seen this and know who makes it. I was like, is this stuff you can get at Disney or whatever? And Marie's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, I don't know. This is actually an interesting tile. I don't know who made it as of yet. It says, that's the, the handwriting. So that looks like B-A or R. It might be B-R. I'm not sure. Um, but if you can't quite make out what it signifies... And that's how, that's how I'm going to do the search. I'm going to do tile. I'm going to do like um, ant grasshopper. And it has to do with this, the fable or story, whatever they call it, of the ant that worked and worked and worked because winter was coming and the grasshopper that fiddled and pretty much starved to death. And the ant was like, screw you, dude. You know, I'm not giving you any of my food. I worked for this stuff. This is African art and it's a child shield. Don't know what the value it has or whatever, if it's much, but it was only a dollar. Um, we can use this at the store for measuring stuff, guys. We can see how long the store is, figure out, like, what space is this, and, you know, all that great stuff. And this is pretty good. I've seen giant spoons like these. I mean, this isn't pristine. Taking a couple of dents. There's where you hang it, I guess. I guess you can hang it sideways if you want, or you can hang it down. And it's basically a big cheese slicer, you know? And it's great because, you know, it's like anybody want any cheese? You bring out a thing, a block of cheese, and you go, I got a slicer. 
uh, which some people might think is hysterical. Anyway, the last thing I got uh, was only five dollars, and that was at the last sale where I got, one of the last sales where I got this for five dollars. That I paid fifteen the most, and that's the thing Marie was making fun. She's like, "Dude, that's stupid. Where'd you buy that?" I'm like, "I don't know. It's pretty cool." Um, but I also got this now. And you flip this over, I, I could read exactly who it was right away. It's uh, Dennis. Well, the sun's not quite as bright here, but here, there, that's pretty good. It's made by uh, Dennison Billy, so Billy Denivit Dennison, and he's Navajo. And it's dated 97. And it's pretty cool. Now, on the bottom, you can see it, the original price was 299 But I did check these on eBay, and the going rate seems to be between 50 to 150 This is a nice big one. So I might put it anywhere from 75 to 125 in this showcase because this one's really nice. Here, let me show you the sides. All the sides are different. This is probably engraved into the pottery. I guess before they fired it or whatever it's to me a stunning piece whatever uh, I guess that's everything I got today um, subscribe to Rip Run Collectibles uh, AJ ASAP Zone, Video Gamer Daryl this channel and my other YouTube channel Scummy Resellers where am I gonna be tomorrow nowhere uh, it's gonna rain so that's it I can't be nowhere can't sell nothing um, otherwise, this video is way too freaking long, so I'm just going to, I'll like say goodbye and I'm out of here.